I would like to introduce contestant number two, David Bornstein. David Bornstein. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our prayers have been answered. We finally got that criminal defense attorney each of us has been longing for. Jeffrey, can I call you Jeffrey? Jeff, I wanted to say there was a man that once told me online dating is like a box of chocolates. Unfortunately, I never did online dating, nor do I like chocolate, so this words of wisdom is very obscure to me. Overall, your speech today, phenomenal. You came up here talking to a group of strangers and telling us about your very interesting dating life. You come up here talking about how you previously were married, and came divorced, and here you are telling us of our adventures to the youth of this room, who most of us probably hasn't done online dating before. I know I sure haven't. I love the fact how you talked about your adventures. You thought you were in Boston, you were in Vegas, talking about how you met this woman, and how each thing led to the next adventure, led to the next adventure, making us think about what is it going to happen next? Have I done this before? It sounds very familiar. I've never been with a transgender before, apparently. So I just think I've been a little interesting. I felt like while you're up here, there's a few things I felt like you could have proved upon. At times, when you have transitioning from one idea to the next, I feel like you're looking down at times, thinking of the next thing to do. Also, a clasping of hands as well, which is something I need to work on myself. I love the fact that you had chairs up here as a prop. I do recommend before you coming up here, is having the chairs up here ready to go. So you have us thinking, what is it, what the chairs are going to be? What is What speech is going to happen? I also love how you lay on the chairs and show how that lady was sleeping all crazy, like, wonderful. But at the same time, while you only use those chairs once, you could use those chairs for other things. I felt like when you're talking about the lady, talking about, hey, I wonder if there's a hole or anything. You want the chair to climb up the pole, like, that thing there, thank God. So those things, I know, can be very, very exciting. I love the fact that you had natural humor with your stories. You weren't trying to be humorous. It seems like you're just trying to be yourself, which is something each, of, each and every one of us could be better at. Just be yourself. Don't try to do th something more than you're trying to do. Also, within your story, I did notice you're around here most of the time telling your story. Well, yes, we all have beautiful ladies up here. But mind, you have beautiful ladies and a handsome man, it's me, over here. So you can walk over here and tell your story and tell us of your adventures of online dating. Overall, I felt like it was a fantastic speech showing us what an older man uh, is going through <laughs> of online dating <laughs> and educating us on the adventures of what may come for us hopefully in a more positive <laughs> light in some aspects. <coughs> and we really appreciate you as a TS speaker up here today. Thank you.